Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be installing my 5x5 closure wig. But first, I also just wanted to show you guys how I also pluck my 5x5 closures as well. Um, just in case anybody out there needs a little bit more help on plucking. So the first thing that I am doing is I am pulling out my baby hairs. And now I am hot combing the hair back just to make it a little bit easier for me to hot comb. By the way, I did bleach the knots on this wig already. And I also dyed this wig jet black. I dyed the wig jet black and then I bleached the knots. So now I'm just gonna start plucking y'all. Um, this is like in real time right here. I'm not, I didn't fast forward it or nothing like that because I really wanted y'all to see exactly what I'm doing. So I am going like from side to side and I'm not starting at the very start of the hairline. I'm kind of going behind the hairline. Um, and I'm making sure to comb the hair back every, you know, every now and then just to make sure I'm not over plucking and just to see how much more I would like to pluck. And the hair is dry at this point. I prefer to pluck on dry hair now instead of wet hair because it makes it a lot easier to see exactly what I'm doing and how the final results are going to look. Um, but yeah, y'all, I'm going to just let y'all watch this and see exactly what I'm doing. Over here, I'm just going to the next side. And yeah. So once I'm done plugging, I just go ahead and pull the baby hairs back and I'm about to hot comb this wig. Um, to hot comb my wig, I am using this She Is Bomb wax stick. I personally like to flatten the wig out and hot comb it first before I put it on my head because I don't know, it just makes it a little bit easier once it actually comes time to apply it. So I'm just hot combing the edges and I'm also going to hot comb the top of it just to get it to lay a lot flatter. I'm still gonna hot comb it once it's actually on my head, but you know, this is just like the pre-hot comb. <laughs> So this is how the wig looks on the inside and I'm just gonna go ahead and place that wig on. I just cut the lace off with a eyebrow razor. So I'm just right now I'm just fitting the wig to my head making sure the part is straight and exactly how I want it. And today I'm gonna be applying it with my Got To Be Free Spray. So I do like to do two layers of this free spray so that it lasts me about two days. Um, I let that first layer dry and then I go in with another layer, layer and then I apply it um kind of immediately after i don't really like to let the second layer dry as much but yeah <laughs> I'm just really pressing the lace into the um, got to be free spray and you know back combing it to make sure everything is nice and secure and in place. <music> And right here, I'm just pulling out my baby hairs. I'm just taking my olive oil super hole fix it spray and applying it to this edge comb and I'm brushing my edges back just to make the edges look as natural and kind of like it's just I don't know like coming out of my scalp or whatever I don't know I just like doing it still <laughs> Now I'm about to cut my eyebrows. Girl, I said my eyebrows. I'm about to cut my baby hairs with this eyebrow razor. Of course, you know, you can do your baby hairs however you prefer. Honestly, you don't even have to do baby hairs if you don't want to. Just skip this complete step all together. But I like me some baby hairs and I like dramatic ones at that. So I'm going to be applying some mousse to these baby hairs just to move them and lay them how I like them to be laid, period. <laughs> Once you get 
is your baby hairs how you like them you just want to go ahead and lay them down with a elastic band and now i'm about to flatten this wig out with my wax stick y'all know i already flattened the wig out first but now that it's on my head i really want it to like conform to my head and just look a lot more flatter so i am going to take that wax stick and then i'm going to take my hot comb and flatten this wig out as much as possible on my head So after that, I'm about to do some wand curls on this wig. I really wanted to do wand curls for this hairstyle. So I just took some of that Icy Serum and I'm about to do some wand curls. I actually did these wand curls in the wrong direction. Well, on this side of my head, I actually recommend you doing it like do the curls away from your face and y'all are gonna see that later on when I get to like the top of my head I realize like oh my gosh I kind of messed up but it's cool because you can easily fix it so definitely if you can try to do these wet these wine curls going away from your face I did them going toward my face if y'all can tell which was a mistake but like I said I was able to fix it and it still came out cute as hell okay <laughs> But yeah, obviously I did do this on both sides, so I'm just going to let y'all sit and watch me do my one curls. So if y'all can tell right here, I'm kind of going to switch up the direction that I'm doing them and I'm going away from my face instead of going toward my face. This will just give you the perfect curls like to frame your face. So right here, I'm just about to comb the curls out just a little bit. And I do this after the curls have like completely cooled off so that the curls don't fall as quickly. And when you do curls, you kind of got to just play with the curls and just see how you want it to lay um, against your face. Like, I don't know, you just got to really play with it and get it to your liking. So now I'm just taking this angle brush and some concealer and I'm just um, drawing, basically I'm drawing my part <laughs> to make it straight and sleek. So this is the finished look one curls with a middle part. I just think it's so cute I did dye this wig jet black if y'all can tell like it looks really black today I don't know why I don't know what I did, but it's like very black, which I love that I love black hair I love jet black hair. It's just 
something about the blue jet black hair that just does something to me and this is also a five by five body wave closure wig and um so far i really love the quality of this hair y'all could tell the lace blended perfectly with my skin i didn't have to put no makeup or nothing on it and um i love laces like this i don't know if this is a swiss lace or hd lace but everything gonna be in the description box down below whatever lace it is this is the best type of lace for a wig um so if y'all are looking for a good company that has good laces on their wigs clay hair is definitely a great company for that i hope y'all enjoyed my little hairstyle or whatever so don't forget to like comment and subscribe and also turn on your post notifications so that you can be notified anytime your girl posts a video i got a lot of videos coming for y'all period so yes y'all i will definitely catch y'all in my next video